Welcome back to Dragon Ball Super Anime Review, episode number 38. This is reviewing the 112th episode of the anime, which is A Saiyan Oath of Vegeta, Vegeta's Resolve. Yep, this one kind of starts out a little bit differently. I mean, it's just, well, Kaba protecting, starting off with Kaba protecting Kalifa and Kale from an opponent. Well, actually, these two be confronted by a, a, an opponent. Yeah, so there were these two confronted by an opponent with all the battles going on. And all of a sudden, Kale, like, uh, Kala, Kala basically shows up. Basically defends him, basically gives him time to get away. And, of course, he gets nearly thrown out of the ring, and then he's saved. I mean, you probably think, okay, did someone from his team save him? No, it was actually Vegeta who saved him. Which makes Vegeta the second person from Universe 7 to save somebody from Universe 6. Yep. Oh yeah, and the reason why he saved him? No, I have kindness. Nope, because he couldn't stand to see a, a, a Saiyan basically lose that way. So yeah, he got a little punch to the gut, and of course, as mentioned by both R Roshi, that their relationship is sort of like a teacher and student, and it's commented by the Grand Minister about their relationship. Mm -hmm. And of course, Vegeta reveals what he wants to wish for. Because, well, Universe 7 is going to win anyways. I mean, he, of course, he wants to win. And his wish is to revive Universe 6. Yeah, of course, he basically reminds him of his promise that, well, Kaba made to him. That, that he that he could introduce him to the king of the king of the Saiyans in the universe. It could be their world's version of Vegeta. Who knows? Mm -hmm. And he gets resolved to take on the opponent again. And, well, of course, the in Universe 4... And of course, she insults basically Vegeta a lot. Like, so Kyla basically goes to just Super Saiyan 2. Yeah, which makes him the second Saiyan from his universe to go to Super Saiyan 2. But he was technically the first person to achieve, achieve he was the first person to achieve a Super Saiyan transformation. But he's second one to go to Super Saiyan 2. First one to go to Kyla. Mm -hmm. And after a pretty long battle, he's able to eliminate his opponent pretty easily. And he's pretty much exhausted, and of course Frieza's of course watching on, and then of course Frieza takes him on a pretty good good battle, and then of course, let's by the fact, Kyla basically hit him with a good good hit, good good attack. Apparently it didn't. He says I, he says I, even though he didn't think that actually eliminated him, he knows that thing hit. But never know exactly because he turns Frieza goes to go to Frieza, eliminates him, and well. Not in his humiliating fashion was basically before, but it's a much more way to defeat him. And yeah, he's eliminated, which means the only people left from Universe 6 are just Khalifa, Kale, and the two Namekians. Yeah, they're the only four left. Yeah, Universe 6 has got like four people left. Up the top of my head, it's only got four people left. Yeah, because pretty much mostly almost everybody else has been eliminated. Like the teddy bear is eliminated, the, the mech person has been eliminated, a pig person. I think Caleb is basically the fourth person eliminated. Yeah, I think there's overall about... Oh, yeah, and also there's... there's Well, there's these four there's hit. So, yeah, there's roughly about four people left. And, of course, Goku thought most of the episode is basically... Well, he's wa watching Jiren, who's basically meditating. He, he's going he's, to be like this for a lot of the rest of the series. Basically, just sitting there meditating up until, like, the last, like, ten episodes. Yeah. And he's watching him, and of course, you have two people. You have two Namekians about to attack him uh, from Universe 6. This is their first appearance in this season, uh, in this series for Universe 6. And of course, you have Goku. You have not Goku. You have Gohan and Piccolo taking these two on. And then later on, you have Goku confronting three robots, which get eliminated pretty easily later on in the episode by Kalifa, who's apparently recovered a trick despite the fact that Goku hasn't yet. He's not fully recovered, so Kalifa just challenged him to fight, and that's how the episode ends. Yep, that's pretty much the episode itself. I basically just left off exactly what happened in the episode. It's a lie. It's basically, uh, the episode's more of a character piece. It's it's character for, for Kale, for Caleb, and a little bit for Vegeta. You get a little bit, a little bit of development for him. But aside from that, there's only two characters you see a good amount of development. Yeah, but overall, you only see about roughly, I'd think about two eliminations the whole episode. 
like one from Universe Four and of course one from Universe Six. Universe Four apparently was down to about three three or four people left. Mm-hmm. Yep. But yeah, that's really it for this particular view. Stay tuned next my review of my comic corner. That'll be next, okay? But we'll see you there. Bye.